Hello friends, this video on Kingdom Plant here part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now study about algae in detail. So first of all, let us look at the general characteristics of algae. They are autotrophic, a very important characteristic because they can prepare their own food uh, with the help of chlorophyll. Because of the presence of the green colored pigment called chlorophyll, they are green in color. Talking about their habitat, where do they live? They are mostly aquatic, maybe freshwater or marine. They can be seen in lakes as well as in sea. They are found in moist soil or wood. It is not aquatic, doesn't mean that it needs complete water. It needs, uh, it, it grows in a place where there is some water. So it can grow even on land, for example, on wood or soil, provided it is moist, provided there is some water present in that. It can be unicellular, colonial or filamentous. So talking about the structure of an algae. It can be unicellular that is made up of one cell. It can be colonial that means too many algae living together in a colony, forming a colony that is called colonial. Filamentous means the algae structure is such that they have thin hair like filamentous structure. So that is filamentous. So all these three types of structures they can have. Now here in this picture you see an example of an algae, right? So here do you see a distinct root? Do you see a distinct stem or a leaf? So everything appears leaf-like, right? You, everything looks like somewhat like a leaf, but then again we don't see distinct leaves. So that is why they are said to be thallophytes because they do not have body differentiation. So let us look at some of the examples of algae. So Volvox is one of the examples. So this Volvox is an example of an algae which is colonial. That is, it exists in colonies. So here you can see too many of them join together to form this kind of a structure. So that is why Volvox is an example of a colonial algae. So here in this picture you can see these kind of structures which are formed inside. See, this is a big structure which is formed. Inside you can see small similar structures are formed. So these small structures are known as the daughter colony. And this bigger one is known as the parent colony. So the bigger one as a whole is the parent colony. And inside you have smaller structures. They are known as daughter colonies. So here you can see there are bridge-like structures which actually connect the different cells. So what are these bridge-like structures? They are known as cytoplasmic bridges. So what do these bridges do? These bridges actually try to connect the different cells. So it is an intracellular gel with reproductive cells and somatic cells. So it acts as a connection between the two cells. So this is Volvox. Next example is Chlamydomonas. So Chlamydomonas is an example of a unicellular algae. So it consists of one single cell. So here you can see this is just one cell. So it exists as a cell. It has a flagella. You can see this flagella which helps in its movement. So the flagella helps in movement. Now if you look at this single cell structure, inside this you see a nucleus. So here you see a pink colored structure. So that is the nucleus. So this is the nucleus. It also has a cell membrane which is nothing but a protective covering of the cell. Now inside the cell again it has all the cell organelles like mitochondria, chloroplast, etc. Everything are present inside the cell. Cytoplasm is present which is the matrix present inside the cell. So this chlamydomonas acts as a unicellular algae. Taking some more examples is Eulothrix. So this Eulothrix is generally found in fresh water or marine water. Its body consists of unbranched filaments. So Eulothrix is an example of a filamentous algae. So this is filamentous. So here you can see it has got filaments. You can see repetitive structures in its body. So the body consists of unbranched filaments. Now cells of the filaments are arranged end to end. So you can see these are the different cells which are arranged end to end, one after the other. So the, if you look at the epical cell, this is the epical cell, something which is present towards the apex or towards the 
tip. So the apical cell is rounded at its terminal. So this is the terminal of the apical cell which is slightly rounded. Whereas the basal cell, this is the basal cell. The cell which is present towards the base. The basal cell is elongated. Now except the basal cell, sorry this is the basal cell. So except the basal cell, all other cells have chloroplast present in them. Now chloroplast is very important, right? Because chloroplast is the cell organelle which contains the pigment chlorophyll. And chlorophyll is the one which actually makes the green algae autotrophic. So chloroplast has to be present in each one of them. The next example that we can talk about is the spirovira. Spirovira or spirovira, whatever you call it. It is known as spirovira because of its spiral-like structure. So here you can see in this picture you see the spiral arrangement inside. Because of that it is called spirovira. So even spirovira is an example of a filamentous algae. So this is generally found in fresh water. This spiral arrangement which you see here is nothing but the arrangement of the chloroplast. So the chloroplast it is arranged in a spiral manner. It can, the length of a spirovira can be quite long. It can go up to few centimeters also. Even here, the, it has a filamentous structure where the cells are connected end to end. See, this is one cell. Again, this is another cell. This is the third cell. So, this is the first cell. This is the second cell. Again, this is the third cell. So, cells are connected one after the other. If you look at the cell wall, here, the cell wall has two layers. So, if you look at this picture, the cell wall has two layers. One is the outer layer and the other one is the inner layer. This outer layer is made up of pectin and the inner layer is made up of cellulose. Chloroplasts are present embedded in the cytoplasm. It is embedded in the cytoplasm. They are ribbon-like. Here you can see thin thread-like or ribbon-like structures which gives a spiral appearance of each filament because they are spirally arranged. The next example is alva. Alva is also known as sea lettuce. It is often edible in salad in some of the places. People eat it. So the, this gives a leaf-like appearance. They generally grow attached to rocks. So with rocks you will generally see this leaf-like structures come up and um, they are known as sea lettuce. Two layers of irregularly arranged cells are formed in case of alva. Here also chloroplasts are present. The chloroplasts are generally cup shaped. These are also known as salad leaves because as I said, there people generally eat it as a part of salad. And the last example would be cladophora. So here again, it is an example of filamentous algae because you see thin hair like filaments present in it but in this case the filaments are branched so cladophora has branched filaments so this cladophora is often known as a river weed it is known as river weed and it is also edible in some regions now many species of this genus cladophora exist which are very hard to classify due to their varied appearance. I mean, not all the species of Cladophora look very similar to this. Even though they have some differences in their appearance, but they are so very similar to each other that it is very difficult to classify them into different subgroups. So these are some of the examples of uh, algae. Okay, so with thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.